Four years after being released on the mainland, dinosaurs have forced humanity to adapt to their presence. The Mosasaurus is shown clutching a fishing boat's fish cage with its jaws and bringing it down. While many believe that all dinosaurs should be exterminated due to the numerous deaths they have caused, others have discovered a technique to capture and unlawfully sell all dinosaurs on the black market. The government passes the reins to Biosyngenetics, a business founded by Lewis Dodgson, Campbell Scott, with the promise to keep the dinosaurs housed at a sanctuary in Italy's Dolmite Mountains to further research them for pharmaceutical purposes. Additionally, according to news reports, Maisie Lockwood, Isabella Sermon, vanished after her status as a clone was revealed. Bryce Dallas Howard and Daniela Pinetta's characters Claire Deering and Zia Rodriguez rescue a young dinosaur from an unlicensed breeding facility at a facility in Nevada. Security personnel pursue them till the three are able to elude them before they join Franklin Webb, Justice Smith, as they flee in a van. Franklin and Zia inform Claire that they are leaving their current positions in favor of safer ones since they are unable to continue doing the type of work they are doing. Despite this, they continue to support Claire and her aspirations. Chris Pratt's character Owen Grady is tying up a big dinosaur while riding a horse close to some icy mountains in Nevada. As he and Claire are now Maisie's adoptive parents, he returns to the cabin that he shares with them after finishing. Claire and Owen strive to keep Maisie concealed out of concern that someone is after her despite the fact that she enjoys wandering out from home to observe the dinosaurs on land. She becomes irritated with them because of this, and she has developed an interest in Charlotte Lockwood, the person she was cloned from. They are indeed being watched by mercenaries in the woods, with Maisie as their objective, and they are led by Rain Delacorte, Scott Hayes. Blue the raptor has successfully created an offspring asexually not far from the cabin, who Maisie later names Beta. Together, they go hunting. Two kids are being chased by a huge swarm of locusts in Texas. Ellie Sattler, a paleobotanist, is informed of this, Laura Dern. She investigates the farm where the crops were attacked by locusts and destroyed. The mother of the kids informs Ellie that Biosyn cultivated the nearby crops, which escaped the locusts' wrath. Sam Neill's Dr. Alan Grant, who is working with other aspiring paleontologists, and Ellie are reunited. She shows him a captive locust and describes the problem because she worries that if they spread, they would destroy the food chain. Alan and Ellie reason that Biosyn must have created them in order for their crops to be the only thing left. Alan is asked to help Ellie collect DNA from a different locust at the Biosyn sanctuary. Dr. Ian Malcolm, an old friend of theirs, had previously invited her, Jeff Goldblum. Alan initially hesitates, but ultimately decides to participate. Blue and Beta encounter Owen, Claire, and Maisie when they return to the cabin. They are all taken aback to learn that Blue is now a mother. The mercenaries quickly move in and seize Beta. Maisie crosses the bridge on her bike and is captured by the bad guys as well. When Owen notices this, he convinces Claire to pursue them. According to Claire, someone can assist them. Franklin, who now works for the CIA, is contacted by Claire. He assists them in learning more about Delacorte and directs them to Barry Sembin, Omar S.Y., Owen's former Jurassic World co-worker who can help get them to the location where the mercenaries are taking Maisie and Beta. When Alan and Ellie arrive at the refuge, they run across Ramsey Cole, the head of communications for Biosyn, Mamadou Athi. Dodgson, whom he presents to them, assures them they are working on something novel and groundbreaking. Ian is escorted to where Alan and Ellie will find him lecturing. Afterwards, he joins them and discreetly tells Ellie that the locusts are actually part of a diabolical conspiracy by Biosyn. Dr. Henry Wu, B.D. Wong who assisted in keeping these studies continuing, has subsequently expressed regret for his conduct. Dodgson visits with him while the locusts are growing at an alarming rate. Owen and Claire also show up and reconcile with Barry, while Dodgson's associate son Moya Santos, Dykin Lockman, phones him from Malta to inform him that Maisie and Beta have been brought separately to Biosyn HQ. He takes them to a dinosaur ring on the illegal market, where creatures are either eaten, sold, or made to battle. Claire encounters Kayla Watts, 
Dewanda Wise, a pilot who flies for the vendors. She cautions Claire from interfering with anyone there, but ultimately consents to assist Claire in finding Maisie. While everything is going on, Owen and Barry remain covered and see Delacorte and Santos meeting to smuggle Atrociraptors. The two face Delacorte and his troops and engage in combat. Prior to being devoured by dinosaurs in the combat ring, he only provides Owen Santos' name when Owen demands him to reveal the location of Maisie and Beta. Before joining Kayla, Claire battles Santos, finds out Maisie is going to Biosyn, and outruns a runaway dinosaur. Santos forces one of her dinosaurs on Owen, who is riding a motorcycle to catch up with Claire and Kayla, before Barry captures her. Just as Kayla and Claire are about to take off, Owen manages to jump on the aircraft and use the motorcycle to knock the dinosaur off the ramp and into the water. Wu welcomes Maisie when she gets to HQ. He tells her that although though she is Charlotte's clone, she is also her biological daughter because Charlotte gave birth to her. As Maisie watches Charlotte's, Elva Trill, video, she may be seen carrying Maisie at the time. Charlotte had a hereditary disorder, but she was able to change Maisie's DNA to completely wipe out the affliction. Wu envisions changing the DNA of the locusts to stop the spread by examining Maisie's DNA. Just as Maisie tries to flee with Beta, Alan, and Ellie break into the locust containment area to get a DNA sample. The locusts swarm towards Alan and Ellie when Dodgson shouts the alarm, but they are able to escape unharmed. They run across Maisie, who recognizes them. She runs along with them. Ramsey discovers them and offers to assist them because he believes Biosyn's activities to be unethical. He transports them to safety aboard a monorail. Ellie tells Maisie that she was friends with Charlotte while they were both students and recalls how smart and kind she was. Claire is forced to jump out of Kayla's plane after it is attacked by a genuine Quetzalcoatlus in the air, and she crashes into the trees as a result after her parachute is torn. In a neighboring ice lake, Owen and Kayla had an accident. Another dinosaur pursues them as they make an effort to safely cross it. Just in time, the two cross, and they immediately set off to find Claire. As she descends from the tree, she must move stealthily to avoid a pyroraptor that has been pursuing her through the jungle. The T-Rex makes an appearance to eat, but is repelled by a Giganotosaurus, a much larger predator, so Owen and Kayla hide. They succeed in reaching Claire. While moving through caverns, Alan, Ellie and Maisie come across dinosaurs attacking, which forces them to flee till they reach the open. Dodgson fires Ian in the meantime after he rips him a new one for his behavior. Ian collaborates with Ramsey to reconnect with his buddies. He releases them from the enclosure, which aids in their escape from the dinosaurs. Dodgson then sets fire to the locust lab to erase evidence. The fiery locusts erupt and start to take off into the open air. While trying to evade a big dinosaur in a van, Alan, Ellie, Ian and Maisie are thrown down a hill. Fortunately, they crash land close to Claire, Owen and Kayla reuniting the three of them with Maisie. As the heroes devise an escape strategy, Biosyn begins to burn, forcing the staff to leave. Ramsey gives Dodgson one final warning before departing after he tries to steal his work. Dodgson tries to escape in the monorail but is surrounded by three Dilophosaurus who turn him into a meal. Beta encounters the heroes and is put to sleep so they can safely transport her. Wu discovers them as well since he has figured out how to change the locust's DNA to halt their spread. The Giganotosaurus resurfaces as the gang is getting ready to leave, but this time it is trapped between a T-Rex and a Therizinosaurus. The Dino combat finishes when the T-Rex throws the Giganotosaurus into the Therizinosaurus's claws as the humans rush to avoid it. Alan and Ellie resume their relationship after reaching safety, and they subsequently travel to Washington, D.C to give a testimony against Biosyn. Wu's efforts are successful in halting the locusts spread. Beta and Blue are reunited when Owen, Claire and Maisie get home. Blue gives Owen one last glance before slipping back into the woods. A final voiceover declares that adaptation is necessary for humans and dinosaurs to coexist. <laughs>